Hi guys, this is Elliot Forbes and this is episode number nine of the Elliot Answers Show. Hi guys, thanks for watching the video today. My name is Elliot Forbes and I'm a male grooming specialist based in London. This channel is dedicated to hair, beard and grooming tips for the modern man. So if that's something you're interested in, you might want to consider subscribing. So today's question that we are answering is, I'm super insecure about my forehead, super thin hair. I'm okay with an undercut or high and tight, but I thought I might ask what I should do with my hair since it's been way too long since I've been in. Okay, now obviously you can see on this photos, or from the four photos that we've got here, that actually the gentleman is slicking the hair way back. So you're slicking the hair way back at the moment. You've got it fairly long through the sides. It looks like it's grown out a little bit. Obviously it's a bit wispy around the ears. So we can see obviously, yeah, forehead sitting quite exposed at the moment. I would say actually the way that it's, it's sitting, because it's being slicked way back, and with a little bit of volume in through that front, what that does is then that really extends the face. So with having, pairing that hair with the beard, with it sort of obviously, if, with it sitting up through there, up through the top, and then by having a beard and then having that sit lower, what that obviously does is that then really elongates the face. If we were to then not have the volume in through that front, still have the beard, then obviously that shortens the face. Obviously then again, by then bringing the beard up, that then shortens the face even further. So if, if for me looking at this, and I obviously not really know much about this gentleman's hair, what I would say is it is very fine. I would say it's definitely, definitely don't want to be wearing it backwards. If you push it back, what you're doing is there, you're exposing the forehead even more. That then makes this area look even bigger because actually you're, if it's weak in the corners and you've got it pushed back, that just exposes everything. So pushing it back, especially when it's fine, all that air is exposed through the front, so it just makes it look even thinner than what it actually is. If you are not gonna shave it all off, then really with this, you wanna be wearing this forward. So I would actually go a lot shorter than what we've got through there. The longer hair gets, the finer it looks. The shorter it is, that's when it looks stronger and when it looks fuller. So if I was gonna have if I was going to say cut this hair as opposed to shaving it off, I would put wear it all forward and then you can take the front really short in through here. So what that does is that strengthens up the hairline at the front, makes it look as full as possible. But for myself looking at this, I personally think that's, I would advise if, this, if you were sitting in my chair, I would say to, to actually, it's time to get the clippers and take it way down, take it way short, embrace it, or other options as a transplant or Probably not a transplant, I think with that, that looks like it's gone very far, that it's, it's still gonna look incredibly thin even if you get transplant. I would say actually probably either one of those hair systems where they shave the top off and then almost stick some hair on. Otherwise, I would, I would say to, to, to embrace that and and then shave it all off. If we're looking then at, at it, if you, if you then sort of forget about the hair, actually the, the, the shaved head look with then the beard actually works really quite nicely because if you shave all that hair off, it's gonna sit a lot lower in through there. It's not actually gonna extend the head up any further. Wearing a full beard with that, that then it's, it's, it's a strong and powerful look. It's something that there is, there's no stigma around that anymore. It's, it's fair game for everyone to actually have a shaved head. So for me, if, if, if you were sat in my chair, I would be taking this way down. And it doesn't necessarily have to be clippered all like, like the, the one length the whole way over. You could even do like, I don't know, for like a, a two on the top, for example. So it's still got a little bit of length in there and then do a skin fade through the sides. So it feels like there still is a bit of a difference in between the top and the sides and almost more of a style as opposed to just, just clippering it all off. That's very much an option with it all there. Um, but yeah, for the idea of then with an undercut, with that, I don't think would work really well. I think that's, if you're saying an undercut, that means you then you want to keep that length on top really long. Worst case scenario is keeping that hair really long and then having that slick back. So for me, that's just not an option at all. Um, yeah, I think I think clipping it off is very much the option with that. 
Okay guys, if you have any questions that you want to ask me at all, feel free to send me a message. All of my social media channels, they're all going to be linked down below. So feel free just to send me a DM on any of them or even just send me a message on here, whichever is most convenient for yourself. Thanks for watching. Have a brilliant day. Much love, Elliot.